Hey everybody, this lesson is problem solving and we're going to model multiplication. So in this one we're doing bar models here. So, so our essential question is how can we use the strategy draw a diagram to solve a one and two step problem here. So we're going to use bar models here. So here's the first example. Three groups of students are taking fishing lessons. There are eight students in each group. How many students are taking lessons in all? So we've done We've done counters. We've done on one lesson and circles. We've done uh, skip jumping on a number line. In this lesson, we're going to do what's called a bar model. So, so I'll show you what this is in this lesson. So, uh, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find out how many students are taking uh, fishing lessons. So, what information are we going to use? Well, there are how many uh, groups are there? Well, there's going to be three groups. It says right here, three groups right here of students taking fishing lessons and so there are how many students in each group there are eight students in each group right there alright so how are we going to use this information let me slide that up right there so we're going to use a draw a bar model to help us see the three groups of eight fishers okay so here's a bar model so they're just boxes so three boxes so that's going to be the three groups right there and then what we're going to do is we're going to write eight in each box to show the the eight students in each of the three groups right here so there's the three eights right there so 8 plus 8 is 16, and then 16 plus 8 is going to be 24. So there's 24 students in all, okay? Let me just slide that up. So since there are equal groups, we can multiply. So we have three groups of 8 right here to find the number of students. So we could have uh, wrote um, uh, three groups of 8. Now these are going to be 24 right there. Let me put the 24s in there, okay? And since we have... Uh, three groups of eight, it would be three times eight, and three times eight equals 24, so 24 equals 24 right there, okay? So eight plus eight plus eight equals 24, and that's the same as three times eight, and three times eight also equals 24. So there are 24 students in all taking fishing lessons. Hey, what if uh, the bar model changed, uh, how would it change if there were six groups of four students, okay? And then solve, all right, well, six group of four students, we just make six equal groups of four, so 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus four. there's 6 uh, 4's and that adds up to 24 and then so 6 times 4 also equals 24 6 groups of 4 that's what 6 times 4 is okay all right let's try another problem here so 12 students in Mrs. Viegas's class want to start a band seven each made a guitar the rest of the students made two bongos each so how many bongos in all were made so this is like two or three problems in one right here. So let's read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find how many bongos were made in all right there. So what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the fact that seven of the 12 students made a guitar, and then the rest of those uh, 12 students each made two bongos. Okay, so how will we use this information? Well, we'll first draw a bar model to help us see how many students made bongos. And then we'll draw another bar model to show how many bongos, uh, bong, bongos uh, uh, total of these students made. So of the rest of the students right there. So here's the steps we're going to use to solve the problem. Here's the first bar model. It said seven students made guitars. So the rest of them made bongos. So seven plus what equals the 12 total? Well, seven plus five equals that. So there's, there's uh, five students that made two bongos each. So here is uh, the five boxes with two in each of them. So it's another bar model to represent the five students that each made two bongos. So two plus two plus two plus two plus two uh, equals ten right there. Okay, so there were ten bongos from this right there. Hey, how would you represent this as a multiplication sentence? We have five groups of two. This would be five times two would equal ten right there. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so, you guys. Hey, if you guys could, would you guys like this video? Thanks a lot. Take care.